Hello to everyone! I'm back again with readings from books about Aikido and this time I'm reading from The Essence of Aikido Spiritual Teachings of Morihei Ueshiba compiled by John Stevens. This is a book from which I have already been reading and it's a really interesting book with a lot of pictures about techniques and I really recommend it to you. And one of the chapters I picked up as interesting is called The Art of Aikido and it's uh, start, it starts on the page uh, 113. The Art of Aikido Techniques are the vehicles used to express the spiritual principles of Aikido. They are not set forms since change and adaptability are the essence of Aikido. Morihei did not say much about the technical aspects of Aikido training, but he believed, if your heart is true, your techniques will be correct. The most thorough technical presentation of Morihei's techniques is found in the book Budo. In addition to further hints contained in the Doka, Morihei also emphasized the following basic points to his students regarding the execution of Aikido techniques. Even though our path is completely different from warrior arts of the past, it is not necessary to abandon the old ways totally. Absorb venerable traditions in Aikido by clothing them with fresh garments and build on the classic styles to create better forms. Our techniques employ four qualities that reflect the nature of our world. Depending on the circumstance, you should be hard as a diamond, flexible as a willow, smooth flowing like water, or as empty as space. The body should be triangular, the mind circular. The triangle represents the generation of energy and is the most stable physical posture. The circle symbolizes serenity and perfection, the source of unlimited techniques. The square stands for solidity, the basis of applied control. A good stance and posture reflect a proper state of mind. The key to good technique is to keep your hands, feet and hips straight and centered. If you are centered, you can move freely. The physical center is your belly. If your mind is set there as well, you are assured of victory in any endeavor. Do not stare in the eyes of your opponent. He may mesmerize you. Do not fix your gaze on his sword. He may intimidate you. Do not focus on your opponent at all. He may absorb your energy. The essence of technique is to bring your opponent completely into your sphere. Then you can stand just where you like, in a safe and unsaleable position. When an opponent comes forward, move in and greet him. If he wants to pull back, send him on his way. As indicated in Budo, the techniques of Aikido are structured into six pillars. Shihonage, four direction throws. Iriminage, entering throws. Kaiten, open and turn movements. Kokyuho, breath power techniques. Osae waza, pinning techniques. Ushiro waza, rear techniques. So this is the end of this reading. Hope it was informational and that you enjoyed it and that it made you more interested in this book. And if you just go on going through this book, you have a lot of pictures, as I already mentioned, with all the techniques, with Shihonage, Iriminage, Kaiten, Kokyu, Osaewaza, and Ushirowaza. So it's really a very good source of inspiration and of information. 
And I really enjoyed this book and I would recommend to anyone to read it if you're interested also in the theoretical part of Aikido and in some concepts. And thank you for listening and hope to see you in my next video or in my next voice recording. Bye bye!